welcome to today's video. My name's Amy, if you're new here, and today we have a very realistic pack with me. So I'm going to Centre Parks, um, I've never been before. I'm going for a surprise for my friend's birthday. Watch out for the vlog that will be coming soon. But a realistic pack with me, I mean, I look like this, I've just woken up, I'm in my baggy, um, vintage Disney t-shirt from the ones the vintage some cycling shorts I think I got from Oxfam um, I'm not brushing my hair I'm not wearing a bra so we're being realistic here so I have started already I've written a long list which I'm going to put up on screen now for you guys to see um there's my list of all the things I think I need to take I've never been to centre parks before but my friend Holly who I'm going with has um so she's kind of my go-to for advice at the moment however I just thought I'd start and show you what I've kind of chucked together and then we're going to start packing um I actually am going to go shopping with Holly in about two hours to buy extra food so we're staying in a lodge um basically it's my friend Emily's 21st birthday her boyfriend texted us and said I'm going to tell her I'm taking her to Centre Parks, but I'd love it if you guys could come as well. So thank you, Ryan, for this trip. I'm very excited. So it's me, um, Emily, the birthday girl, and her boyfriend, and then my friend Holly and her boyfriend, and then me. So we are fifth wheeling. Um, I will document in the vlog how that goes. Um, obviously, as you guys know, I became single about a year ago, and I'm still single, still loving it. Um, but fifth wheeling for a whole week, I'm not quite sure how that's going to go, but I will document that in the vlog. However, this is a pack with me, so I'm going to show you what I've kind of put together and excuse the absolute mess of it all. So I'll go through the food and stuff later when I've got everything, but this is the general kind of snack section, snack and alcohol I've kind of put together. We're all over 18, YouTube, it's fine. Um, so I've got some general snacks here that I collected when my dad had a double discount at Asda, brilliant. Um, and then I've also got some balloons here because Holly's got quite a lot of decor decorations she brought the other day. Um, but these are actually leftover balloons from my 21st. We're going with kind of black, gold, silver, you know, like a mixed metal gold look for the decorations. Um, so that is all there. You'll see this all in the vlog. You will see us putting this all together and hopefully it comes together well. Then we've got the mess is my dressing table. I've kind of just chucked everything I think I'm going to take on here. To be honest, I thought I was going to take a lot more. So I'm quite proud. And then I've got out my case. You guys would have seen this case multiple times before. It's my guest case. It is a bit scuffed up now from multiple trips. Um, it's got two sections, which I'm hoping will help me kind of organise um, games, like non-clothes clothes. Um, but let's start putting the stuff in the case and just see how we go. Of course, if you've seen my pack from these before, you'll know I'll be using packing cubes. Um, I've actually only got two in here. I don't know where the other ones have gone. Um, so I'm going to hope that all my clothes fit in there. Um, yeah, let's start organising, I feel like, into piles and then we can start packing. I feel like that's a good way to go. Okay, so I've put things in kind of relative piles of stuff. I've got kind of miscellaneous stuff that's just me, like my charger, my wallet. Uh, I've also changed contracts um, on my phone. So I've got my SIM because I don't know when it's going to switch over. It should have already done it already, but that's a late to me problem. I've got entertainment. So I'll show you what I'm taking. I'm going to take this word search book, which actually let's get a pen for now before I forget. Um, I thought I'd take a word search book so anyone can kind of pick that up and do a word search. I feel like they're always a fun thing to have. So I'm going to take a word search book. Um, I'm also going to take Uno, great game, um, a pack of cards, Cards Against Humanity. I'm going to take Lexicon, which is like a word game. I'm going to take Phase 10, which my cousin Fran got for us we played it on holiday. So Fran and Angus, if you're watching, I'm taking this with me. Um, I'm also taking What Do You Meme, which is kind of similar premise to Cards Against Humanity, but with memes instead. Then books wise, as you guys know, I'm trying to get back into reading. I'm going to take Diversity, a handbook for these troubled times, how to challenge inequality and why we should book. I think this would be really interesting. Um, I'm excited to read this. I got this in, I believe, British Heart Foundation for a pound. And I'm also taking Women That Don't Are You Pretty. I actually got this recently in Sense, which is a charity shop I work at. It's, it was seven pounds, but it's in literally perfect condition. And these retail for 15. So I was really glad to get my hands on this um, for half the price. Um, so I picked that up and I'm gonna take that with me. That's kind of a feminist handbook, I think. Um, then in terms of kind of presents and stuff, I've got her a card and we're actually taking her to Baldy Balderson for her birthday um, in a couple of, in like a month. Um, but I thought as a nice surprise, I've got her a set of underwear from Georgia Asda. As you guys know, they do sell our size um, because we're bigger chested gals. So I thought I'd take her a set of underwear because I thought it was a nice gift to open. I'm actually gonna put this on her bed when she gets there. Um, 
I also want to take some rose petals because I think that would be quite funny and make it into like a little honeymoon suite for them. Um, because we are kind of gate crashing their nice couple's holiday. Then in terms of cosmetics, I actually went to dog sit, my sister's dog. So I actually already had my makeup bag packed. You guys know all my favourite makeup. If you ever want to see kind of a what's in like my everyday makeup routine, I will show you the items in here. Maybe I actually do that while I'm on the blog. Um, and then I'm also taking just a cleanser. I have got my eyelashes done, so I'm also taking a liquid cleanser to clean them. Um, a spoolie for my eyelashes which i'm going to instantly put in this makeup bag just so i remember to kind of brush them out every day and i've got two so i can take, put one in my swimming bag which is something i actually need to pack as well i've got a hairbrush kind of shower gel body wash i've got e45 because i'm gonna get them to give me a spray tan and i feel like the chlorine is gonna dry out my skin so i thought i'd bring that plus my hair turban for when i get out of the shower and then i'm on my period and you guys know i love my period pants however they're not super practical for going away. That is like the only downside I found with them. Like I've been using them for about a year now. I absolutely love them. I might do like an update on my period pants kind of journey on here, just for anyone who's curious. Um, so instead I am taking tampons and sanitary pads just because I feel like that's easier to kind of dispose of while I'm away. Um, I'm not quite sure what the washing situation is. Plus I don't really want to have to worry about washing while I'm away. So not washing myself. I will wash myself. Washing sanitary pads. No, my period pads. Anyway, I've got sanitary pads and tampons in here. Um, I've got loads. Um, I thought this will see me through the holiday. Um, if not, I'm sure I can go out and buy some. And then this is my massive stack of clothes. This is what I actually want to go through and make some outfits with. But I'm going to get this stuff packed first um, and tick it off my list. Um, so once this stuff's all packed, I'm going to try and get all of the miscellaneous stuff in one side and then clothes in the other. I might have to spill it over a little bit, but I'm thinking that's a good way to go. I want to stop rambling. Um, and yeah, let's pack this stuff. Okay, so piles of stuff. I've got knickers, bras, all of that there instead of not taking my period pants. I've got pyjamas, swimming costumes, I've got my jacket, and then I've got my clothes. This is what I need to go through, but first I'm going to get this stuff packed. I'll show you which swimming costumes I'm taking, just in case you guys are curious. So, for swimming costumes, I'm going to take this one. I'm going to try to remember everything's from. I think this is Hayden's Hospice, £2. Cute. I'm trying to go for ones that are a bit more full coverage. Um, obviously as it's like a kiddie place plus we're gonna be going down slides and stuff I don't want a boob falling out so I'm gonna take this one it's got straps so it's kind of nice and practical I'm also going to take this one I think it's again Hayden's Hospice two pounds it's originally juicy sure I only realized that when I was um when I was like sorting out my swimmer the other day um this is actually one of my favorite swimming costumes it's on my special clay bikini I call it and um, it's got a strap that goes over your neck which you can tighten so I'll probably have that on rather than wearing it strapless um but it's really nice and kind of full coverage again then I got this one which I got from British Heart Foundation a couple of weeks ago. I think it was about three, four pounds. Um, it was new with tags and it's gorgeous yellow colour. I literally love this. I don't know where it's originally from. It doesn't say, just XXL on the side. So I'm thinking one of kind of a cheapier brand. But super cute. Love this. Love the yellow. And then I'm also going to take this black one. This is in a size 18, so it's slightly too big on me it does fit though so that's why i'm taking it and it's a proper full coverage one again adjustable straps got cups inside um i'm taking this as well because i know emily can wear this as well because we're like the same size she can share this as well and obviously she doesn't know we're going um but she can share this which i thought was a good idea to take an extra one um that she could share um and she loves black so i feel like she would actually really like that swimming costume so i'm gonna take that pajamas and stuff is normal i'm gonna pack all this and then come back to you rather than filming another time lapse um, and i'm gonna organize my clothes into piles um, and then tick off what i've already packed so going through a list is literally my favorite way to pack i thought i'd pretty much got all of the admin -y stuff done but actually i completely didn't i find starting to make your list a week earlier is the perfect way to do it because whenever you remember something like if you use something in day-to-day -day life put it on the list um I would have missed so many things if I hadn't got a list. Um, I've just noticed that just by thinking I've got everything packed, going through and ticking things on my list now it's in the case. And yeah, there's loads of things I missed. So that's a really good way of doing it. Um, it's only like little things and things that are probably still where you like use now until then, but definitely write a list if you're someone who stresses about packing as it will take away so much of your stress. I know everything on my list is what I need and I'm really hoping that is everything. Obviously there's always a chance you're gonna forget something, but I find if I didn't have a list, I definitely would have forgotten so much already. Um, let's get back to putting this in the case.
So I've got all my clothes out that I'm going to take. So first off, I've just got a leggings and an oversized t-shirt. This one was from Cancer Research, I believe, for like two quid in the men's section. Then I've got that little top, which got paid with hospice for about four pounds, um, that can go with some jeans. Then for kind of evening outfits, I've got a black maxi dress, this yellow mustard top, which I got from Cancer Research for, I think, two pounds. Um, and then my um, refashion dress. Oh, this was gifted. This maxi dress was two pound, three pounds from Cancer Research. Then I've got my green co-ord, which I got on my Depop haul I filmed the other day. Um, that was £13 plus a little vest top. Then I've got a Cancer Research £2 vest top with my The Wonders of Vintage um, vintage Adidas kind of tracksuit bottoms. I'm going to take my Harley Davidson vest, which I got from The Wonders of Vintage. That will go with either pair of jeans. Then I'm going to take just a black vest top, which I got from Scope. Um, and then my black oversized Paco Rabanne shirt, which I got from the filler bag sale and my levi filler bag sale jeans the gift jeans were gifted in a bag um also just ignore the toffee crisp voucher which i've just noticed over there voucher wrapper that's what i was meant to say um i've actually just tested it and all of the tops and dresses will all fit in a packing cube apart from my thicker refashion dress and the jeans i'm going to pack separately as well and um, but everything else fits in packing cube which is good and then i'm going to take my denim jacket which goes with some of the outfits um obviously i'm taking two oversized shirts which i can put on either any of the outfits really and i've taken this waterproof which I, again i got from wonders of vintage and this is from a charity shop in romford i can't remember which one um but yes let's pack all this in here i've also got a swimming towel in there so we're looking pretty good i think i've everything packed in my case this side's got like miscellaneous stuff that's got clothes and my food is there I thought I'd just give you a quick rundown of what snacks I'm taking. I think I've got everything packed in my bag, but I can pack. Obviously, my phone, um, like my loaf of my shower and things like that, I can't pack. Now, but I thought I'd show you just a quick overview of what snacks we're bringing. Not that I don't know if anyone really cares, but I'd like to see people's snacks. So, taking some pan chocolates and some brioche buns for breakfast. Um, we're just going to get some, like bread and like daily bits today. Um, I got some cheap mini rolls because anyone knows about these mini rolls. You, you know, you know they're great. I thought I'd get a box of biscuits because I love box of biscuits and they feel fancy to me. They feel like a special occasion food, so I've got them. I also got some onion rings, some cheese balls, some kettle chips, and then some cheese and onion, which I realise I've got these cheese and onions, but I got these ages ago. So two lots of cheese and onion crisps. I also got some roast chicken and thyme crisps. I got some digestive biscuits. I think I got two packets of them because I thought these were a good like everyday snack. Plus I'll have these for breakfast with some milk. I got two tubes of Pringles. Emily loves sour cream and chive. Um, I feel like we all love Texan barbecue, but I couldn't find them. And I got some paprika. I thought they were a nice range of flavors. No one judge me on my flavor choices here because there's limited. Um, I got some fruit pastels, some M&Ms, some Starbursts, and then I got just some caramel dairy milk, normal dairy milk. Do you keep your chocolate in the fridge? That is my question to you guys. And then in terms of alcohol, I've got some of this Smirnoff Ice Raspberry. This is like super low alcohol, it's only like 4%, um, but this is really nice. I thought you could drink this in the day as well as the evening, um, and it's quite a nice drink. I also got some of the Raspberry Crush Smirnoff Vodka. This is really good to shot. Plus, it's nice mixed with lemonade. I also got two bottles of just lemonade. Um, I also got some apple sours because I know we all like to shop this. Um, and then I got some of this from Home Bargains, which if you haven't had this, definitely go and get some if you like to drink shots that aren't like disgusting. This is the Red Square Toffee. Um, literally have no idea what it actually is. And I have just checked and it is Russian, so that's unideal. Um, however, this is really nice and it's red square toffee alcohol. Don't really know what it is. I say it's just toffee alcohol and it's really, really nice. I get it from Home Bargains, so it's only like eight pounds, quite cheap. And then I've just got some bottles of lemonade. We actually are gonna go do a shop while we're there. Again, you'll see this in the vlog. Um, I think. However, I feel like me and Holly are pretty much trying to get everything sorted before we go. Um, so in terms of like dinners and stuff, I think that's all we'll need to go and buy um because i feel like we've got kind of like everything like that covered i think we made some pasta today um and like some sauces um what i'll do is obviously i'll vlog the trip so you can see that but then i'll do a maybe a video afterwards if you if i feel like i need to do it about kind of tips and tricks i'd recommend for center parks because i've not been before and i'm not sure if there is many i haven't actually looked um but i thought it'd be nice to kind of see what sort of things people are bringing um i've just asked friends and family um but yes we're gonna go to the shops and get some everyday food like pasta bread eggs milk butter sort of thing and um, so actually i'm going to end this video here everything's packed in the case ready to go 
and yeah look forward to the vlog i don't know if i'm gonna do one big one or in separate parts but you will see it come out soon and if you did like today's video don't forget to get a thumbs up apologies for the appearance we're just doing a realistic one today like i haven't brushed my teeth i haven't really even got up too much out to of bed today but this is what i packed this is all the food I'm taking, or some of it. I've got a lot. Uh, comment if you've ever been to Centre Parks. What did you think? It's too late for you to tell me tips and tricks, but obviously there's a surprise. This has to go out later um, than kind of when she knows about the surprise. Anyway, I'm gonna stop rambling. I will see you in my next video, and yeah, I'll see you soon. Bye.